Hey guys, Sammy from Candy Tech TV. Today I'm gonna to show you how this little device can make most any projector Bluetooth, so stay tuned. All right guys, so in your budget projector range especially, there's some differences between your resolution, your brightness, things like that, different connectors on different ones. But the one thing that's in common, for the most part, is the internal speakers kinda of suck. So that's where this device from iTechnic comes into play. So this is a Bluetooth transmitter, and this just has an aux jack attached to it that it'll come with in the package. And as long as your budget projector has a microphone in port and a little aux port, then you're gonna be able to hook this up and you can turn it into a Bluetooth projector. So this thing's awesome because you can actually use this for many other devices as well to make something Bluetooth that isn't natively Bluetooth. So if you've got an old set of speakers and you've got ones that are typical, you know, 2.1, 5.1 channel, you know, speaker system, this can be plugged in if it's again got an aux jack and you can plug that into that, you can set it on the receiver mode on here and then it's gonna pull in Bluetooth audio. So you can connect on your phone to this, play it out of the speaker. So what we're doing is you're hooking this up to the projector and you're gonna help transmit that audio to a Bluetooth device. So for making your projector Bluetooth, what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug this into the aux jack on it and then you are going to use the transmit feature on here. So that's the TX button. There's a TX and an RX for a receiver and transmitter. So you want it to transmit. So you're gonna put it to the TX function there and that's gonna transmit the Bluetooth audio out of the projector. So what you're gonna do is if you've got a Bluetooth device that you wanna hook it up to, whether it's Bluetooth earbuds, whether it's Bluetooth speakers, you are going to basically put this into pairing mode at the same time you have your other Bluetooth device in pairing mode. So if you have, say, like a Bluetooth speaker, put it in pairing mode the same time you put this in pairing mode while it's on the transmit function. And they should basically just connect to each other as simple as that. I tried it and it worked immediately and I was able to pair my projector right up to a Bluetooth speaker immediately and audio was coming right out of that. So that is your first option. That is option number one, just hooking up your projector to a Bluetooth device, whether it's a Bluetooth speaker or a Bluetooth set of earbuds, or, you know, headphones that you wanna listen to at night, something like that. Then you got the audio coming straight to that device. Number two is if you wanna get a little crazy and you wanna buy a second one of these, what you can do is set one up to transmit and one to receiver. And that's for say if you don't have any Bluetooth speakers to typically send your projector sound to. So the way that'll work is you're gonna set one of these up to transmit and you're gonna plug that one into your projector and then your second device you are gonna set to receiver, the RX button, and you are gonna hook that up to those speakers. So this works well with an older set of speakers, or like I said, maybe you got like a 2.1 channel speaker system. I have one that I picked up at Walmart years ago where it's got, you know, two speakers and a subwoofer that are powered up, you know, through an actual outlet. So you're, you can hook this up into the aux jack on those speakers and make that the receiver. So what that does is it basically takes your audio right from your projector over here and sends it over to the speakers over there all by Bluetooth, you're not gonna have any wires, just these two devices, which is pretty awesome. And some people might claim that you're gonna get some lag from that and there's gonna be some interference. You might have some lag between, you know, say talking and then hearing it on the speaker and it's not gonna be in sync. With these, they are Bluetooth 5.0. I can attest, I tried them out. I had zero lag when I was streaming from my projector to my 2.1 channel stereo system and I was using Netflix through my projector. So it paired up perfectly, there was no noticeable lag. So again, that's pretty awesome. And what this enables you to do is if you wanna have a projector on one side of the room and speakers on the other side, then that is a great option. If you're say pairing this to something overhead and you're mounting a projector, you can have you know speakers in the front of the room, projector in the back or overhead above you, and then you're gonna be able to project it across some distance without worrying about any wires. The other good thing is if your projector typically, you know, especially in the budget range, has a higher level noise fan, then this is gonna help you combat that by, you can basically move your speakers up right next to you. If you're listening to it, you know, put a Bluetooth speaker on the table right next to you, right in front of you there, and you can just hook it up with this, and that is gonna definitely drown out that fan noise and definitely help improve your sound quality. 
So this is a pretty intuitive and easy to use option. Like I said, if you just follow my steps there, it should work, it should pair up very easily. If you have your device maybe paired up to something else and you're having an issue getting it connected to this, maybe just turn your Bluetooth off on your phone for a second. And like I said, just put that thing into pairing mode. And as long as this is in pairing mode as well, then it's gonna connect to that device. And if you're using the method I talked about where you have two of these, and you wanna set up like a home theater surround system by using this in your projector and then on a set of speakers, then you're basically just gonna turn these on together at the same time and put them in pairing mode by doing a long press and they'll connect to each other that way. Now really the only downside with these is that they say the battery life's about eight hours. So, you know, you're gonna to have to charge it up every once in a while, but eight hours is gonna get you through, you know, any type of movie. So I'd say if you're definitely gonna use this for say like a movie night or some gaming or something like that, just make sure you got it plugged in before that and charge it up fully. But you should get a good amount of use out of this. And it's a pretty relatively cheap option and a good way to help improve your audio coming out of your projector. So guys, like I said, you know, some people claim that there's some lag with Bluetooth and things like that. You know, the newer Bluetooth 5.0 typically I have not had issues with. It's stronger, it's got better range, things like that. So I would say if you wanna be safe, definitely go through this link and use this one because like I said, I've tried it out with my Epson projector and hooking it up to my speakers and I had Netflix streaming and you know no lag whatsoever. So definitely check these out. The link is down there below and uh, I picked up two of them so that I can put one on my projector and then one on my speakers. But like I said, if you have a Bluetooth speaker option, then you really only need one of these. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down there below in the comment section. But guys, if you like projectors and tech, I've got new reviews on my channel weekly here. A lot of projector reviews, occasionally some other reviews like this. So definitely hit that subscribe button down there below if that's something you're interested in. I also have a whole budget projector playlist and that's gonna be popping up up here in the corner and the subscribe button is going to be right down here. But I'd love for you guys to subscribe if this is the kind of content you're into. And if you want to check out a bunch of other projector options that I've tried out and done some testing with, make sure to hit up that playlist there. But thank you guys for watching with me today. Take care until the next one.